we are going to design the framework of e-newsletter so that you can accommodate different kind of information accordingly so first you have to decide in the beginning itself that which tool you are going to use whether you are going to use the Microsoft Publisher or you are going to use the Microsoft Word both the tools are available with Microsoft package when you install Microsoft Office these two application automatically get installed and both you can use for designing the e-newsletter so I am not going to use now publisher I am going to use Microsoft Word and we will discuss that how we can frame the framework of one e-newsletter so before we proceed to design this is my opinion that in the beginning itself you plan that how your e-newsletter is going to be looked like so in my means generally what I do uh, I'll just show the mind uh, which I have planned the top of the portion I have kept the header and the logo and below that the left side below that I have given the volume information and left side I have given what is inside the page at the right side I have given the content accordingly heading content heading content and on the first page I have given my brief introduction that who am I who am I and uh, now in second page the top page uh, at the top the information remains same I mean to say logo heading and the volume information and below that I have given all the information in the systematic way and then third page also the top remains same below that information and at the last page at the last page I have the top remains same and I have given the content here and uh, before I closed uh, this e-newsletter I have given information to the audience or uh, professionals adding uh, added one QR code and left side I have added my image also so in this way I have planned so by now you must have understood that uh, how you are going to plan so this I found the easiest uh, framework which you can plan and you can add the content so here one more thing is very important that before you proceed you must have one logo this logo you can design in many software if you take open source you can design in GIMP or if you have the commercial one you can take either Photoshop or image effect there are so many you can design the logo with those software but if you want to go in open source software then GIMP is the best one GIMP okay so I designed my logo and I have kept it ready in my uh, means folder so I'll be using that logo this is my logo and I'll be using the same so uh, by now you must have understood that uh, how to design the uh, the framework now let us proceed to the next page I have taken one next word page and first I'll see that my margin of the page is okay so that I will not have any the wrapping uh, problem so on the top I am keeping 0.5 inch and uh, everywhere top bottom left right I am keeping 0.5 and then I'll click OK so you can see that uh, my page has gone little left and right and uh, then I will go to insert and uh, I am going to use the shape only to give the better color outlook everything so I'll just take the one shape and uh, I'll use still bottom of the page if it is not scrollable then you can leave it in between and later you can drag it also you can make the page little uh, small so it will be more visible to you okay so I have taken in this way and since this curve is more so you can drag this so this curve will become less so 
okay now you may not be happy with the color of this so you just double click on this particular square and you can choose any one white background or any light background also there are so many uh, given so but i have taken the uh, the light background this one so i did not choose anything else if you are not happy with the curve you can little uh, bring it uh, right side so it will be uh, means having good look okay now suppose you have done this there is one option of uh, layout option so if you choose the suitable one in uh, uh, behind text or like that so these actually the uh, text wrapping option will help you so, sometimes what happens suppose you are adding any image or you are adding any content so image will not allow you to move over the page or like that so this layout option helps you a lot in order to manage your content on the page you can see here i can drag up to this though i have the uh, the page margin only 0.5 and the same way at the bottom also i have uh, the the bottom 0.5 but i am able to drag it up to the top and bottom so in this way i have taken now the next one i am going to take the logo and logo also i am going to take in the the same way so that it will look uh, better okay i have taken this uh, background and uh, i have taken uh, okay top and bottom behind text okay let me take this and uh, i'll add my logo now let me take uh, my folder librarian guide and uh, i'll choose my logo here okay so it has come so i can little drag it here and adjust accordingly and if you're not happy with the border uh, like that so you can choose the different option if you want to move uh, this logo here and there you see here okay i have taken this one and the right side i can take the another one this is your own designing actually you have to spend some time in order to make it uh, good looking otherwise what will happen that if you do it in hurry so you may not give you the better uh, design or you may not be able to give the better look also so here also i have taken the uh, the this one so i can go up and down wherever i want okay so here also i'll change it to this okay it has gone behind the text so i'll take it bring to okay now okay, okay so let us take this one at the background so it will be easy for us to send backward and now you see whether it is coming or not oh i will take this okay you can remove it and design new one because unnecessarily don't waste time i'll take this and i'll upload this up to here okay up to here and then i'll drag my logo it is going behind the text so uh, yes now it has come okay so in this way you can uh, uh, design uh, the top you can bring it little down and then here and then you add the picture of the your header suppose i have taken this i'll just minimize it so if you don't want to use this then also it will do otherwise you can directly you can drag it also you'll you see i'm dragging it and accordingly i can adjust the height and size based on the so i have given the look here the next one is the below that you can take here you can add for example 
okay and now I need to add the text so right click add text and suppose volume 1 and uh, here I can check the issue number 1 and uh, if you want to little adjust the and you can increase the size also for example I am making it little big and then uh, you can change the layout uh, view okay it is not there so you can make it in the center okay and then you can bring it little up so it will come in the center and then below that you just again you take at the left side you take the wattage inside if you don't want to make it big then you can keep it small also okay and here again only you have to keep using the different available tools so that you will not get any problem what is inside okay and then you can choose the different blocks for example this I am choosing for page number for example I am giving something here add text some text as per your page content and page number one and likewise I'll I'll add the other text also like this if you don't want to do this you can easily copy and paste so it will save your time you see here and then only you need to change the page number or the text again you copy it and paste it so it will save your time and help you to you see here page number three and likewise you keep finishing till end and the right side you have to add the information so first you can design the page like this so that it will look a little better and you can uh, just drag this again you can put the header inside and for that you you can take the different color also if you want to make it little different looking and then right click and then add it and you add uh, for example uh, for example my about my library suppose this is my first issue so about library okay about library and you want you have to add the text now so again you take the small text you can drag it this way change the color of the background add right click add the text and you can add the text here okay so like the same way you do in the word you can add the information here also in attractive way suppose it gets over so you can design the different you can take the different one and you can add the information here okay at the left side we can just drag it little up accordingly here you can provide your all the information uh, related to your personal detail like name contact address name contact address logo email id website address so detail can be provided here and if you don't want the background so you can choose it simply at the white background so likewise you can keep adding the page and at the next page you don't uh, require this left information so you can expand the uh, the full page the see I have taken the librarian guide I have taken in this way the first page I have given all the information and uh, the second page onwards the top remains same and below that I have taken the information 
like this I have added the page also and the information has been added accordingly and at the last I have taken one small box where I have added the QR code image and this way you can uh, design the newsletter for your so final save you have to get like this so this will be your complete e-newsletter and when you are done I suggest not to share the word file because the word file will not be better you can save it in the PDF format and this will give you the PDF file so I have already saved if you want to see you just open it so it will see here it has saved in the PDF file now it is looking in this way so this way you can design the e-newsletter and you can circulate with your friend circle with your friends if you are designing for your organization you can design it for your institute library and share the information so I express my sincere thanks for watching this video I hope I have been able to make you understand how to design the e-newsletter and uh, stay updated by watching the different videos available on the librarian guide YouTube channel once again thank you very much